I'm Andre Minkov with Minkov Law Corporation. In this video, you'll learn that trademarks don't give an absolute monopoly over words and images. There are two substantial limitations to the monopoly that trademarks grant their owners. First of all, trademarks don't exist in a vacuum. They only provide protection in connection with specific products and specific services that the trademark owner offers to the public. For example, Apple Inc. does not have a monopoly over the use of the word Apple. Their trademark gives them the right to prevent others from using the word Apple in connection with computers and software. But it doesn't prevent others from using it in connection with apples, restaurants, cigarettes, candies, gas stations, and so on. This makes it very important to create a proper connection between the trademark and the products and services. If it is your trademark, you want to make sure that it covers all of your products and services. For example, if you're a steakhouse and you're using the trademark, we love animals, you should consider extending your trademark to takeout and delivery services, of course, if you offer them. On the other hand, if you are considering whether somebody else's trademark will prevent you from offering your products and services offering a particular name or design, you should check for which products and services that other trademark is registered and used. For example, if you are planning to run a daycare using the trademark We Love Animals, just because there is a restaurant under the same name should not be a problem because the services offered by the daycare and the restaurant are very different. Secondly, the word use has a very particular meaning in trademark law. Not every use of a word that constitutes a trademark qualifies as use in the legal sense. In connection with products, a trademark is considered to be used if it's placed on the products themselves or on their packaging or if consumers of such products are otherwise made aware of a trademark when they obtain the products. In connection with services, a trademark is considered to be used if it's used or displayed in the performance or advertising of those services. What this means is that mentioning a trademark in a blog post does not constitute the use of a trademark unless the trademark is registered for writing blog posts or similar services. Using your iPhone to make calls does not constitute the use of the iPhone trademark. Moreover, unless you're claiming to be the authorized dealer, you will not be using the iPhone trademark if you decide to sell your iPhone on Craigslist and state in the ad that you're selling an iPhone. In the next video, you'll learn about the difference between registered and unregistered trademarks, that is, trademarks that are marked with an R in circle and the TM sign. At Minkoff Law Corporation, we love helping clients protect their ideas and cover their assets. So if you have any questions regarding intellectual property, feel free to call, send us an email, or go to our website at minkofflaw.com. Thank you for watching. Talk to you soon.